So it's time now to take a dip into the diving arena as we welcome you back to the Sportsmax Zone after co-captaining the Jamaica team to the recently concluded Paris Olympic Games. Three-time Olympic diver Yona Knight Wisdom returned to Jamaica and uh, recently had his eyes fixed on expanding the local diving community. The 29-year-old spearheaded a week and a half long diving camp that lasted over two weeks from, well, uh, a week and a half and uh, the National Aquatic Center in Kingston was the venue. 13 participants enrolled in the program. And president of the Jamaica Olympic Association, Christopher Samuda, says he's pleased with the initiative by Night Wisdom. This is an initiative that I've always said should happen. And thanks to Yona Night Wisdom, he conceived it in terms of his camp. We supported him, he had discussions with us, and we were clearly on board. It's part of the development initiative of the Jamaica Olympic Association in conjunction with the ASAJ and um, Yona. We have to give our young people options, and we have targeted diving as well as swimming, as well as water polo, a sport that we think can transition easily to the international seas. Once we are able to resource, once we have the commitment of the talent, and once, of course, there is the infrastructure around it. So this camp is just the beginning. It's the beginning in a journey that I hope will end up in LA with very competitive divers who can, of course, be um, on the podium. Yeah. Now, the president of the Aquatic Sports Association of Jamaica, Lance Rochester, expressed his desire to see Jamaica's aquatic sports participation growing leaps and bounds. I want to see all the sports under the umbrella of the ASAJ at the elite level. Of course, we have had swimming, but we have artistic swimming, which I'm very excited about. I think Jamaicans can be absolutely elite. Artistic swimming is choreography and music and dance and performance. And what sounds more Jamaican than that? Of course, we have also water polo. We have diving now, the potential for high diving as well, like we see out in Rick's Cafe. That is something that we have to evaluate. We have open water swimming, we have beach water polo, and we have master swimming. All of those are exceptionally valuable. Now, young divers Anastasia Chin and Lisanne Mayer reflected on their time working with a three-time Olympian. It's been a really enriching experience. Um, I was here last year for our first camp, and it was good to see the numbers increase, which was, uh, you know, as you saw the display, it was phenomenal. So it feels great to be back here this year and to be on the end of helping Yona a lot more with the kids and learning a lot more about the admin or teaching side to that on um, to diving so i did learn a lot there and i'm happy i got to try a new dive today so that was good yeah. this has been an amazing experience and i really love it um this is actually my fifth summer diving and i was excited to learn new dives what was it like working with the yona knight wisdom who's a jamaican olympic diver um it was really amazing and he taught us to like believe in yourself and do it if you can yeah, and we are pleased now to be joined by Knight Wisdom via Zoom. He was a Pan Am Games silver medalist back in Lima, Peru, 2019. Announced his retirement from the sport, uh, Yona, which I suspect has given you more time now to give back to the sport. Yeah, thank you for having me. Um, that's exactly what it's all about at this point. You know, when I was training putting 100% in every single day. It takes a lot of mental power, not to mention the physical power as well. And, you know, now that I've decided to step away from competing, it means that I will have the time, the, the, the brain power, the energy to put into developing diving, working with the people in Jamaica to develop a proper diving structure that can be sustainable, that can run on its own, um, and that can potentially produce some really high quality divers in the future. Yeah, well, you know, you, you reside in Britain, uh, but given your commitment to this process, how much time do you expect to be spending in Jamaica to, to get this done? It, it's going to be a tough one um, in terms of how much time I can spend in Jamaica because obviously flights these days are expensive. I've been looking for sponsors and, and people to support 
um, the, the program and that would include hopefully getting me out to Jamaica a little bit more frequently than I've been able to just because the travel, the accommodation for me is very expensive. I don't have a foundation in Jamaica myself. Um, so that's where I'm looking for support. But in reality, I don't think I need to be there that much to get it off the ground at this stage. Um, as you can see with the camp, there are a lot of people that are very enthusiastic about, that, about diving. There are a lot of very influential people there that could help to develop the program with my guidance and with my leadership. And, you know, it's obviously going to start at a very basic foundational level. And I can help to deliver that remotely. You know, we've got the technology, we've got Zoom, we're having an interview um, across the ocean right now. It is 11 p.m. here, but, you know, I can work around that. And we've got the technology where these things can be delivered from a distance. So I'm confident that I can make this happen, even though I do live in the UK and I spend the majority of my time here. But I'm, I'm hopeful that I can make more visits to Jamaica in the future. Yeah, and obviously the camp that you had last month, Yona, wasn't the first of its kind or it's your first opportunity to sensitize uh, the aquatics group to to diving which is not traditionally a part of uh, jamaica's or the caribbean's sporting program have you seen uh, since you started this process because you did start it in some uh, at some level years ago an increase in the interest in the sport and are you encouraged by the prospects a hundred percent. There's definitely been an increase in interest and I did this camp before last year. Um, so it's only been one year in between and, and some people that came last year came this year as well. And even in those people, you could see the progress and the fact that they even wanted to come back. They were really intrigued and interested to learn more things. The great thing about this year was there was more younger kids that wanted to try it. Um, Obviously, with a sport like diving, you want to target younger athletes because you, you need time to develop the skills. Um, but there's definitely some prospects and, and, and opportunity. But what needs to happen now is that there needs to be a continuation between now and hopefully next year or even beforehand when I can do another camp. There needs to be some kind of continuation. So we saw Anna there get interviewed. She's one of the key people who's shown a lot of interest in in working with me to develop diving and also a number of other people there who I think can help to continue the program um, week in, week out when I'm not in Jamaica so that when I come back out next year, it can just pick up from that point rather than, you know, trying to start again basically after a whole year of no diving. Yeah, I take that point on continuation because it's so, so important that, you know, they continue practicing what they would have learned and of course, you know, developing their skills. Now that you got some time to really just get back home, sit back and process what took place at the diving exhibition, what would you say was your biggest takeaway? What gave you the most joy from the camp? The biggest takeaway was actually not necessarily the interest and engagement from the kids, but from their parents. Yeah. The parents enjoyed it so much and it, it became this little community of, of the families kind of sitting together and watching and supporting all the other kids, not just their own, uh, because they wanted to see the kids do well and succeed as a group. And that's what diving has been all about for me. It's, it's been the community aspect. It's been the friends that I've made along the journey, the parents making friends with, with other parents. And it's created this like little family where everyone knows each other, everyone supports each other and pushes everyone on to be successful. And, you know, when people have difficult times, you can lift them up. When people have success, you can celebrate them. That's the most beautiful thing. Um, but th the thing for me, unfortunately, is coming back. I've not only just got the camp to process, I've got my entire career to process. So it's taken a bit of time to actually just sit and relax and not really think about too much and start to reflect on the things that I've achieved, appreciate what I've done in the sport. And um, yeah, in, in a few days, I'll be ready to go a little bit more 100% into furthering the, the diving program in Jamaica. Yeah, well, Yona, sounds all good. Um, a couple of really quick ones here. One, um, the age range of the participants at the camp and whether that um, range was ideal for this type of development. At, at this stage, the ages aren't really relevant. Um, we had the youngest at about six, the oldest at about uh, in, in, in the mid-30s, you know, what I'm trying to do at this point is showing that people are interested, regardless of their age, 
they're they're willing to try it and they can also gain so much just from trying it in fact uh, two of the older guys that are on it you know they both jumped off 10 meter at the end of the week and i don't think either of them really expected that they could do that and genuinely the the, the relief and the the sense of achievement that I saw in them was incredible, almost more than some of the younger ones, because the young ones are a little bit more fearless. I think some people maybe expect the young ones to be able to go up and jump up 10 meters, no problem. I don't think they expected the older ones to do so. And seeing them achieve in that, that was amazing. That was one of the best moments for me, actually. Um, That's one of the moments that made me the most excited. And um, yeah, the, 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 as I say, at the moment, the ages aren't really relevant because it's just finding people who are interested. When we get the program up and running a little bit more established, then that's when you start to look at the younger athletes a little bit more. As I say, you need time to develop the skills, um, but that will hopefully come with integration into schools and, and talent identification testing and programs and things like that that I've experienced over here. That's how I was selected. I was selected from a talent ID program um, where the diving club came into my school. Um, so, you know, those kind of things I'd like to implement as we go forward. But it's going to take some time before that can be properly set up. Yes, yeah, sounds amazing. Uh, you're on a night wisdom. Thank you very much for joining us. As usual, on the Sports Mag Zone, I will see you in LA 2028. Um, so we're all looking forward to that. Take care, Yona. Thank you. Thank you for having me. All right, you're on a night wisdom. Let's take a break. We'll be back with more on the Sports Mag Zone. Zone update two coming up after this.